Hey there, my name is Nev. I'm a solutions consultant here at Abacum. In this short demo, I'll walk you through how you can run your entire budgeting process within Abacum. Combining top-down strategy, bottoms-up inputs, and the power of AI to drive clarity, alignment, and efficiency. So, we'll start with spaces. Uh, spaces could be a multitude of things. It could essentially be a reporting space. It could be a uh, planning space. It could also be like a scenario and sensitivity analysis space. Today, we'll focus on planning spaces. We'll start with a OPEX planning space, right? So what's really nice about Abacom spaces, it is less of a box we fit you into. Think of this as like a set of tools, right? So you can structure a space any which way you'd want to. So in this particular example, what we see is the, the finance landing space, right? Within this, you can see each individual department subspace, right? And their particular workflow as well, or where they are within the workflow, right? So looking at this finance space, you'll notice there's tasks that can be assigned to folks with due dates, right? Scrolling down a bit further, you can see how folks are tracking against their forecast. And if something is off, boom, go in there, add a comment and Slack them, or basically add a notification to them where they'll get notified, either through Slack, through email, or through Abacom. What's also nice about this commentary is it's not just like an Excel comment. This is actually stored within the version and also with the period as well. So you can always refer back to that. Um, you can also do line item level approvals and we can come back into this in a second. So really powerful in terms of what you can do with the system, right? Oh, another thing I missed, AI insights, recommendations pertaining to variances too, right? Perfect. So. Looking at the end user's experience, let's say the VP of marketing logs into Abacom. What they will see is this. This would be their space, right? You can set this space up in quite a few ways as well. So they can see there's some comments over here. Perfect. They can double click on this one, it takes you to a specific comment. They can resolve this, respond to you, right? They can also go and preemptively add their commentary on this one, right? But scrolling down a bit further, what I want to focus on is the, the data input faction. So Within the input portion, uh, there's a multitude of ways you can input data. It could be through Abacom's input boxes. It could be Google Sheets. It could be Excel. We connect to all of them, and we have bi-directional connections to all of them as well. So let's say you, the VP of Marketing, logs in here, wants to request a new vendor. Double click here, the list of existing vendors, add new row. It could basically be from the existing list or even a completely new vendor. Open AI, add an expense, and save changes. And all they have to do is move the status to review, right? And you can see we, are, we have a very robust matrix workflow. It's not a linear one. So essentially, each step can be defined and customized in which you want to. What's also really cool about this is the AI side of things, right? So let's say this person requests OpenAI, but the actual vendor hits the system as openai.com. Abacom will automatically pick that up and tell you, hey, there's a mismatch of these names and to force you to reconcile them. So you won't be like essentially having a different vendor for planning and a different vendor for actuals. That's just crashing the surface of AI. Let's take a quick peek at headcount as well. Same kind of scenario, but you can get significantly more detail with headcount planning. So let's go in here and I'll go into like the end users or department heads view, right? You can see by status where they're tracking, right? They can add commentary on that. They can get to like the employee level uh, and down here when they want to make requests, of course, you can make top side adjustments and top side requests, but you can also get very detailed as well, right? And actually make at roster level requests too. And this could be new employees, there could be changes on existing employees, due dates, start dates, uh, departmental movements, right? We can handle multiple FX rates. Honestly, I don't have the time to go through everything today. It'll take like at least an hour, but you get the gist of it. What's also nice is when you want to do hybrid planning, you also have that option too. So let's take a quick peek at a hybrid planning example. So in this particular example, what we've done is we start with our top-down target, and essentially we are marrying it down from the pipeline level. We are marrying it down to like our top-down target, right? Within that, you can overlay scenarios too. So this is like my base case. You can come in here, play around with like your bull cases, bear cases, any driver, any assumption, any logic you can think of, Abacom can handle that. So to wrap it up, Abacom combines the structure of top-down strategy, the inside of bottom-up planning, and the power of AI. So your budgeting process is fast, collaborative, and future-ready. If you'd like to go deeper, 
check out abacum.io or reach out to schedule a demo. Thank you very much for watching.